Amber Rose. Scary. Um, about to pull this, about to pull this video I'm gonna, up. I'm going to do, I'm going to take it on levels, okay? I'm going to take it right. on I'm gonna start from a good level and I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it to a level. I'm gonna start here first. That poor baby needs some goddamn help. Mm. We're gonna start there on the real shit as a as a mother, as a grown ass woman. She needs some help. That woman is lost. She's been lost all her life since she was like 15, dancing in the club. And whoever um owned that club that allowed a 15-year-old child in there. They should be seeing somebody right now. So, or just, I say somebody need to be seeing they ass because they ruined this girl. Um, if her, her, I mean, a lot of people don't know a couple of things, but her grandmother committed suicide um, when her mother was a little girl. Dang. Okay. Um, Amber father rolled out. Um, her mama was a waitress. You know, Amber recently, and this is when I knew she was gonna be a problem. Two things when I knew she was gonna be a problem, well, actually three. One was when I seen Hollywood tatted on her arm in black. Okay, the word Hollywood tatted all the way across her forearm, the whole thing, the word Hollywood. Next, when I noticed that she was mimicking my daughter a lot, which means she has no true personality. She's a she's she she trades off. Like one minute she'll be with me, she'll talk like this, and then with you, she'll be like, yeah, you know what I mean? You know, her her personality fluctuates. Um, her writing on her forehead the name of her child or whatever that is, all is cutting her head. All of these are signs of more than just depression and anxiety and issues. It's demonic. Okay, this woman allowed to have her boyfriend fuck 12 cops. Dang. A dozen of them pussies. So out of a dozen females that you that you knowingly know, how many of them is on the up and up? Like, yeah, physically, doctor-wise. Okay? Um, when people don't know when you have sex with different people, you trade spirits absolutely you tie spirits so with her fucking machine gun kelly savage 21 or whatever 21 savage, 21 savage yeah where's kelly all of these men that been don't forget out. kanye oh don't god forget kanye because mm -hmm. i heard he bathed in bleach damn i heard kim and i was like you know what at first i didn't believe it but i got a family member that that's a little that she do that too. She like it just cleans my skin. I'm like, how? But I heard that he did that. Now with Amber with this last picture, that's that's my new. Watch pull that this. Up. Watch this. Her son, so adorable. Oh, he likes vampires. He likes Halloween stuff. He likes vampires. So she does she do appease him like Halloween time, stuff like that to get real vampy. And this, that, and the third. However, this ain't Halloween. This is not Halloween. Not only that, if you watch the video, you look at the mirror behind her. People don't pay attention. What's the purpose of having that mirror behind you? If you take your time and you look in the mirror behind you and you look inside the mirror and you slow it down, you're going to see a boy sitting there looking like he don't want to fucking be there. Mm -hmm. And you're going to see a funny built woman. If you slow it down frame by frame, she has a white tennis shoes, pants with a little bit of a gut, a black shirt with a little bit of breast, and her arm extended because her arm is extended out to take Amber. Amber is doing all of this in front of this little guy's face. You just got to turn it on and look at it. She wants you to look at her to avoid the frame behind her. And how I know? While you're looking at it, she's going to pay attention that you can see him and move over. Every time she's doing something and the person comes into the frame, she moves over to go back in front of them. All of this shit is ritualistic. And if you have a boy in front of you, why you do all this shit now with the Tiffany Haddish shit? They all mm. behind it. Well, what's the purpose of it? It's not Halloween. Um, 
it don't match your fucking song that you're playing yeah, in the dance you didn't it don't match wow. so what what does that tell you this song has demonic quality mm-hmm. yeah this song come on man the girl didn't she, didn't she, she just like, announced god a few months yeah a few months back yeah she went on raquel's show and um said god oh you talking about the one who made the planets and all you know real sarcastic and oblivious to real life she is um yeah she did she did but i clearly can remember sitting in her house the second house talking about god at the table while she was making subway sandwiches and hoagies philly hoagies and her and china about to go to the club i can clearly remember her saying god did everything for me i'm so thankful and I was just like, Angie, she's a really good person to be around. But, you know, I'm always right when it comes to these hoes. And again, I told Angie, you need to get the fuck away from her. Something about her ain't right, but now I'm going to say what it is. And I'll go on the stand or go to a lie detector test. I'm not lying. Amber is the one who came and called me and was telling me all of this fucked up shit about my daughter. I was busy. So she called my phone and was like, Tony. I was like, yes. Because the way she said it, it was like something was wrong with her. I was like, what's wrong? She was like, your daughter is just doing too much. She is not watching that boy. Just all this weird ass, wild ass shit that I appreciated. Because I felt like you're not being a yes bitch. Letting her get away with shit knowing this ain't proper. So let me pull somebody in that I know that can come in and, you know, move things around. Whole time, I mean, I talked to my daughter. She said, I had not talked to her in over a year or two. So how would she know anything about what's going on with me? And then right after that, if people can remember, and I had got into it with the shade room and then Amber came to the shade room and defended me and then said, Tokyo, go in my, go in your DM. I left your message. It's about you and Chai. I think everything's going to be good. And that's the last time I heard from her. Amber and I was so good to the point that I went over Amber's house and um, after grinding for Angie, Black China, um, about her lash and I went over there and it was a great greeting her mom is just her mother is everything when I say her mother is everything y'all mom dukes don't fucking play around she's straight up it's just it's just unbelievable how cool she is so when I heard Amber say that about her mother first I said oh shit wait on it she said my mother's a narcissist she this and she that that was a lie I was so hurt to my bones, y'all. It really made me shed a tear. I was like, no, not another Angie. Jesus, not to your mom, shorty. Because she not me. I'm going to come for your ass. She not going to do it. So you humiliate your mother first. Then first you come, you drop off social media. You come back with the devil outfit on. What's up, family? It's Isaiah Curry. You have been looking raggedy lately because you having trouble finding the right products for your beautiful melanated bodies? Skin so ashy you look albino? <laughs> Head so dry and nappy you can start a fire with it? <laughs> the last time somebody come in. Well, look no further, family, because we got you covered over here at Night and Day Shopping Network. We teamed up with other black entrepreneurs to bring you the best self-care products for us melanated brothers and sisters. And don't feel left out, white people. You can use them, too. All the products are all natural and chemical free. We got some raw shea and cocoa butters, body washes, coconut hair conditioners, yucca root shampoo, gift boxes, and gel and oil for your hair locks. All from black owned companies. It's way better than that crap from Walmart and the dollar store. She head. So click the link in the description box below and go get you some at nightanddaynetmarket.com.